Ladies and gentlemen, tonight's fights are brought to you by Eruption Muay Thai. Your judges at ringside are Blair Moore, Brody Stoller, and Spiro Dalzanos. Your doctor is Dr. Ben Mannion. And your timekeeper is Josh Demirkely. Your referee when that bell tolls, Wayne Mead. Tonight's fights are brought to you by our major sponsors at Gumdale Demolitions. Ladies and gentlemen, both warriors have now entered the ring. And this is the main event of the evening. Queensland Eruption Muay Thai from the front to the back and from side to side let's make some noise five by three minute rounds in the middleweight division this is the Muay Thai bout Australian fight fans have been waiting for this is the rematch in shooting first Fighting out of the blue corner, trained by Kieran Walsh, out of Moyu, with an official weight of 72.4 kilograms. A professional fight record, 48 fights, 33 wins, 3 draws, 11 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of the nation's capital, ladies and gentlemen, David Ben and P. And across the ring is this man's opponent fighting out of the red corner, trained by Mark Pease, out of the Strike Force gym. Last night of the way, and he came in at 72.4 kilograms. A professional fight record 41 fights, 30 wins, 8 wins coming by way of knockout. Fighting out of the Gold Coast, James Sweet and Hardy. Both fighters, White Crew, Ramai. Oh, Having a look at the tail of the tape, 28 years of age, James Honey, 27 centipede, so uh, similar in age, 41 fights and 48 respectively. A close one, of course, a rematch from their four-man eliminator title in which Honey was triumphant, but tonight Penipede is looking to pay it back. As always, nothing to the back of the heads, nothing to the groin area. In case of knockdown, go to other neutral corner and wait my instructions. When I say break, that means break straight away and don't hit each other after break, or if your opponent's on the ground, let's go touch gloves. Third man in centre ring, Wayne Lee, makes it all clear and official. Gets things underway in just a moment. Daddy cool. The rematch, much talked about. I've been thinking about this fight for a while, Hammer. This is, um, it's given me vibes of, of, of preacher John Wayne, you know, back back in the day where we had the 72 kilo just stack, Jay Tonkin David Tinnepe James Honey, you know, we've got these fighters now all battling it out to, to be number one, and number it's, one it's really absolutely. really good to see Eruption right, number 24 go, main awesome. event of the evening we are underway here from the Eagle Sports Complex, the Eruption Arena sold out for this fight night and indeed many turning up to see this our main event mark the hammer castellini with dane daddy cool beach calling all the action for you honey of course victorious last time out 
Tanapita out of the blue will look to turn the tables tonight. Yeah, both Muay Thai stylists. Great technique with, with decent power too. So very, very evenly matched these guys. It doesn't even it doesn't get much even. Absolutely. And, uh, tough one, a tough one to call. Like, you know, J James won on the three rounder last time. I thought, you know, the five round suits Dave, but it suits James as well. So they're both three or five round fighters. You know, they both will fight tie boxing, kickboxing. Great fighters here. It's going to be an absolute chess match. Honey coming off that big win in Dubai over Horat Gorgorian. So, uh, and that was under kickboxing rules, so showing his, his, his um, you know, diversity. You can fight, as you said, Daddy Cool, under any rules. Honey also uh, has an important thing to mention. He wants a shout out to the Aussie Hotel in Shepparton as they're his main sponsor. And they're streaming, they're watching it. So, big good day. The Aussie Hotel in Shepparton. and give us a cheer. Let me see if I can hear. <laughs> and then here at Eagle Sports Complex, cheering for their boy Honey as he stalks ten feet around the ring. And the thing is, as well, Daddy Cool is when fighters have fought each other, they also learn a lot about each other and they can negate and and you know make the fight into a, into a fizz up. Let's hope that doesn't happen here tonight. And I think once they get a read on each other, they're going to try and find some solid openings and let a firefight happen in centre ring. But they're playing it safe in the first thus far. Yeah, they're both, they're both very skillful fighters. So, you know, David and, and the Moyu team, they, they'll research and, and analyse why they lost that last fight. Uh, very, very good at fixing his mistakes, Dave. And then James Honey, very much... On a roll, very underrated, I feel. Just out of range with that kick. That event in Dubai, that Alpha Fight Series uh, event was huge. And, uh, you know, a big one for him to uh, to make a statement against Gregorian. Obviously, you know, one of the best kickboxers, you know, going around. So, Honey going over there making a statement. And he's here to, tonight to keep the winning ways happening. Hey! <laughs> Pete trying to break range. But Honey keeping it at striking range and looking happy with his first round, the red corner. Sweet as Honey. Happy to see that one, Daddy Cool. Yeah, good feeling out stage. Nothing in that at all. We'd see good things coming from one fighter and then another great thing coming from the other. So, tough one to split. I feel maybe just at the end if I had to really put some money on it, I'm leaning the way of the red corner. I think Honey just uh, probably landed some more or more clean and obvious scoring, but n absolutely nothing in it. Definitely nothing in that one that's, uh, of course, unofficial, Hammer. Unofficial. For anyone out there that thinks it's official, it's unofficial. It means what we say doesn't really count. Mark Peace in the corner with Honey. Great crew at Strike Force, Jim. Darren and, and uh, Chad Collins. David Enard. All the legends of Strike Force on the Gold Coast. Now the tempo will pick up. Got to get some scoring on the cards. Take it up. Out of any sort of controversial decision. As I say, never leave it in the hands of the judges. Everyone has left it in the hands of the judges tonight. In case you're wondering, Daddy Cool. <laughs> yeah, no knockouts tonight. Not, not the cuts. Oh, switch kick, low leg. Switch kick from Fenipede. Counter low kick from Honey. Nicely done. Yeah, the, the big sh strength to Fenipede is a very fast low kick. He's got a very good leg kick. Uh, but, when, well, Fenner Pete says on his bio here, he's got a WMO World Title shot in July. So he's going to want to get it done here if he's going to be in World Title shot contention. Yeah, and he's got a busy year. Fenner Pete, great to see these boys loaded up for the year. We still get them to duke it out locally. 
trip up from Canberra. Can we use the set beautiful left body kick there, straight under the, the elbow into the rib cage of Pinapi from James Sweet as Honey. Catches the body kick, comes back with his own. And again, nice work there from Honey. On the catches and counters on point for both tonight. Nice, Honey. The counter fighting beautifully. So that's going to make Pinapi worry about pulling the trigger first because every time he's, he is shooting first Honey's catching and countering so you don't want to uh, let your attacks get undone so that I'd, I'd be thinking they'd be fainting more and trying to create some uh, distraction before throwing perhaps yeah, but they're, they're lifting those knees up a lot which distraction from coming in obviously you could push kick or block at their attack but it, it makes it difficult for people. I'm, I'm noticing James doing that a little bit more and then getting in with those hands. Of course, uh, Honey as well. There's uh, some big things ahead with that. Or on the shore. Got a big fight coming up on that as well. 29th of June. The war on the shore. Oh, spin! Nicely done. Big shot. Just off just off the target, a little tiny bit there, but enough to get the Aussie, the Aussie Hotel and Shepparton off their feet, that's for sure. Absolutely. Switch lead round kick. Penape. Trying to downward elbow as well. Fast reaction time. And the man from Canberra. Blue corner. Are happy with that round for themselves. Walk back confident. I think they've done enough in the second. So it would be the first round. Honey. Second round. Tenepede. A nice catch. Countering just two in a row. Rinse and repeat from James Honey. Good work. Another good round, Hammer. I like Honey in this round. You see him looking for the punches just off the mark there. But he, he was very strong this round. And he's, if he gets hit, he was catching and coming back. David getting a nice kick in there. Beautiful turn just off the bark with that elbow. Yeah, they, both, uh, they both had ill intentions in that exchange. So a close one in the second. The blue corner. They're, uh, they're thinking they've done enough. The red corner thinking they're still solid. Second down. Eruption number 24, our main event. Is a happening here at the Eagle Sports Complex, the Eruption Arena in Brisbane. Awesome. Obviously, Queensland always been a stalwart for Muay Thai through the decades. Good exchange of kicks there, both boys. This is what I mean, Hammer. That David's got that leg up. They're walking in with their legs up. With lifting their high knees, it, it upsets what you want to do because the bang, that leg, kick, that teeth kick can come out or, or that block on the way in or step in with the knee. So good, smart fighting from both boys. Absolutely not letting anything go there. You see Honey just slides that punch over the top, Dave straight away back. You can see Honey uh, and the team have worked on that overhand right or that, you know, that right cross. So they uh, they identify that Tennessee probably dropped his lead yeah, hand when he kicks or knees. So they're trying to roll that right hand over. In turn, Tennessee is, is really fast with that lead switch. Uh, it's the reaction time. It's milliseconds here. And do both men. Yeah, and, and good control off the ropes here. But he, he's doing. We saw this with Diesel Leck in the last fight. He's very comfortable on the on the ropes there. Great knee again. So David, very, very smart fighting in this third round, Hammer. Nice knee again. Game of strategy for sure in our main event. Will it be repeat or revenge here tonight? Of course, Honey winning their last last time out, got the victory. Tenderfeet looking to revenge that. Yeah, I, feel, I feel the, the momentum in, in this round going to the way the blue corner. Tenderfeet just very skilled. Looking for his shots, but then he's back out. Very good control. Looking for his shots. Low kick, push kick, and blocks. Very good work off the ropes here again. 
Topping low kick from Tenerife. Score that. Kieran Walsh in the corner. Yeah, good making him miss. This is a much better round from the boy from the ACT. He's got he's got Honey now backed up on the ropes. On the way in. It's sort, of, it's sort of these one, two exchanges back to and fro. For mine, it'd be like go back to what we saw in some of the earlier fights and make it a bit more freestyle and break that Muay Thai rhythm. Because they're both sort of mimicking each other's rhythm now. Yeah. So you've got to sort of break that tempo or it's it's basically shot for shot. Yeah, I think, I also think though, if, if someone messes up, they're gone here. So they're very high alert. Yeah. They don't want to throw any sort of ill techniques you see honey come in there's those kicks again on high on the pause of his foot good control good control on the catches from both men yeah i like honey. that round like that for the blue corner that round honey uh really uh, got his defensive zone up and catching well the penalty starting to mix up the flow a little bit yeah switch just, around kick getting under the ribs there yeah, just getting his rhythm. The left kick in that round from Tenepe was really good. See him high on his balls of his feet. Gets caught, but still good control, good balance. Keeps and his vertical keeps, base, yeah. And keeps the block for the kick, so he's happy with himself there. But yeah, very strong round from the blue corner, I thought. A great technique a shown. Of, yeah, a lot of showmanship, I think. And I'm, I'm thinking that uh, you've just, you know, Honey doesn't want to get caught into the you know, being psyched out, because they're almost psyching him out now. So Honey's just got to, you know, do what he does, do what he did in the last fight, and just get that aggression up a little bit. And Tenerife is, is, you know, as you said, Danny Gorlo, he doesn't want to make any mistakes, doesn't want to... They don't, either men are, are very cautious. Both men, round three. So you see Dave get the take down. up on the balls of the feet topping out oh nice switch lead kick nice. the feet but Honey gets the hand away yeah he's rolling that you can see Dave's hand out in front quite wide and James Honey's getting that punch over the top Honey's got the better boxing guard Tenerife's got the better setup for the Thai style fight so it's a bit of a contrast of styles there. Oh, beautiful work off the right there from Tenerife. Kicks the kicks the supporting leg, honey. Terry's away to switch around kick. Needs to get in, switch kick, honey. Tenerife lets the right hand go short. Kick the kick. Kick on the way in. One body, one low. Who you want, Jack? Who you want? Come on, it's Lee yeah, Honey, yeah, tries yeah, to let the hands work, the Penipedes, fast to catch, yeah. fast to catch, that gets the takedown back. James Honey getting an absolute they, they both, they both, I was going to say, they both feel the canvas in, the, in this round. It's lovely. It's lovely. Both boys, making each other take, hop and jab for both boys. Intriguing battle in our main event here at Eruption, Daddy Cool. Good arm wrestle this one, good chess match. One for the purists. Love them. I love the light footwork of Penape. Left leg, nice low kick again, and you watch him slide out of harm's way. Good angular work. The honey aggression going forward needs to, needs to keep that pressure on. He's had a bit of luck with the hands. They're going, uh, they're, they're turning it into a kick wall more than anything else, this one. Yeah, good. good work there, pen and, pen and tape. Where's a few punches, but the kicks earlier. Stoop, score long, and very good work with his hands. Down a low kick from Honey, push kick Honey. Pen and tries to switch up. Inside thigh to body kick Penape. Nicely done. Honey tries to get the hands away. Where's one low? Great angle work off the ropes. Dave, where's, where's one there? 
two kicks. And here's the pressure from James Honey. Push kick from Honey. The hands from Honey are on point when he lets them go. But a, a very intriguing and strategic battle. Yeah, there's no one putting anything out of order here in this fight as we've watched the replay. Low kick there from Honey. Dave just absolutely in his element on those ropes. Good body kicks and once again good pressure, but he gets him there. Both boys went down in that round. Yeah, they both had a takedown in that round. Honey. Yeah, beautiful timing. And Tanner Pete both through leather with mixed results. Straight right hand getting through the guard. So they were right hand for right hand as well. Uh, There's not a lot in this one, absolutely. Yeah, very tricky one to... And we're in the fifth and final. So you'd think that you just go force into the wind. Yeah, it's a tough one to hammer this one. I'm, I'm going to make a bold statement. I'm going to lead the way of the blue corner. Oh, that's bold yeah, statement. I'm going to lead the way of the blue corner for this. But there is absolutely nothing in this. Well, I'm thinking the red slightly, but yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be down to this round. Scoring shots and counters. The long kicks from Penapaya then out of harm's way. Working well for at the, him. At the end of the day, Daddy called one of us has got to be right. Yeah. So that's that's the thing about. Bang! Right hand. Flurry now. Good flurry there. They need to finish strong. Whoever finishes strongest will win this fight. Big powerful kick there. Heard the thud from Tina Pate. And then good control Tina here. getting good knee, knee scoring in that clinch exchange. That was good work from him. Low kick from Honey. Low score. The judges have been, they've been a little bit... Uh, Divided in their scorecards tonight as well, so it's certainly going to be interesting. Low kick from Honey. Tried to catch, catch him on the way in. There's the balance shown from Penapay. Honey looking for those punches. Elbows now coming into play this last round. Low kick. Nice low kick from Tanapete. Push kick, honey. Round kick, Tanapete. Both having their moments certainly in the fifth round. Yeah, I'm liking kick. the urgency and the alertness of Tanapete. He's, he's waiting. He, he might wear a couple of punches. That's fine. They're, oh, not, push as, to the face. they're not as high scoring that he lands in two kicks. I think he's very strategically fighting this, this fight. But then the pressure of Honey, get him in the corner, the big shots, you can hear him thudding. Oh, in the fight where they're scoring equally, the more aggressive fight, a nice elbow, better peak. In the fight that is even, the more aggressive fight is the one that supposedly should get the nod. So there's nothing in this one, nice push kick from Honey. Sets up, yeah. tries to set the elbow, the elbow. Peak now rallies back. And blocks the kick to Penn and Payton. 30, just over 30 seconds to go. They need to go, and they need to go now to take this one. Convincingly, I'm a fighter. It's there for the taking, and it's going to be down to what the judges see from their angle. We've had split yeah. scores tonight, Ooh, oh. and this will be another one. One, yeah. two from Honey. And there's a nice... Oh. Again, oh. again. Could this be enough? Could this be yeah. the sprint to the finish line that Honey needs? In front of his home crowd here in Queensland. No. There it is. Will that flurry be enough to get James Honey over the line? Or will the clever strategy of David Tenepe get the nod his way? Whatever way you have it, it's gone to the judges. And as I said, Daddy Cool, at the start, in the rematches, the fighters read each other so well, they almost nullify each other. And I think that's pretty much what we saw tonight, to be honest with you. Yeah, I, I, I feel very technically driven fight, both boys. I like the way Penapay, I like their game plan. Sit on the ropes, pick him off. He's an aggressive fighter who will come forward. Pick him off, land the kick at the end. But James Honey's not just someone you can, you can mess around with. As we see right at the end here, 
even to the end. Push kick into the face. He caught Dave with a nice elbow right at the end too. So very tough one for the judges. Maybe he stole that last one. But how did they see the previous four? That's the question. In our main event of eruption number 24 from the Eagle Sports Complex. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of main event Muay Thai action, we head to the judges' scorecards for our decision. Your first judge score the contest, 49-46, honey. Your second judge score the contest, 49-46, pen and peed. Your third and deciding judge score the contest, 49-47, to your winner via split points decision. Blue corner, David Pennepe. Well, there you go, Daddy. Cool. You called it, and you called it right. Pennepe just gets the nod again. Split points decision. David, one of the to both fighters. David first. I should call it James. The judges have James been divided tonight. Round. Many fights, you and this is another David one Penepe with a split man. points decision. We got the win by round tonight. Tight loss. It's probably going to hurt. Um, how are you feeling first off? Initial thoughts? Nah, mate, I'm upset, but I gave everything to that, Cam. David's a top competitor. I know I had to give everything to fight him again. Um, I'm sure we'll have a runner back for a third time. What? Well, you just told me now, so I was going to say that it's one apiece. It's, it's only fair to run this one back one more time. Yeah, for sure. We'll run it back again. Congratulations, David. Uh, thank you for everyone that came out. Thank you for my team from Strike Force and all my sponsors. Thank you, guys. Enjoy it, David. David, man, I just, I'll go over it again. Last time around, you got that loss in the main event of the uh, four-man in the extension round. Tonight, once again, Kieran Walsh had you train to a T. It's your beautiful girlfriend in the corner. Very proud, and you got the win, mate. Man, like, yeah, going back to the four-man, such a wild roller coaster of a night. Like, eliminators are hard, man. Especially in the first row when you fight Jay Tonkin. Man, and, like, having that crazy, like, big win, and then not... Not being able to enjoy it, backing it up against another crazy fight with James. And again, we thought it was close. They gave it to James that night, but just super pumped to get back in there tonight, man, and, and just steal the win, yeah. Mate, we enjoyed it very much as the main event here. It's not a great crowd. As we said before, it's now one all. It's only natural to get the score to settle it all, run it back one more time to see once and for all who is the supreme middleweight in this country. Oh, man, for sure. It makes sense. We're one and one. You know, we've got a bit of history pull out and, and stuff like this, so it makes sense to run it back again. But I just want to thank uh, Paulie for bringing me up, putting on a quality night and a quality show. This is my first eruption, and it looks sick. The turnout's been great. Thanks to everyone for coming out for tonight. Pack the place out. So thanks for coming out, supporting myself, James, supporting Muay Thai, supporting Paulie in the eruption. We appreciate it. We, can't, we couldn't do it without all you guys, so thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Your victor of our main event, well, David Benham.